hopefully that is everything. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that's a little bit different for you. I'll kind of explain it as we get into it, but I've decided to take a little bit of a trip for kind of my mental health to get out and relax a little bit, get away from home for a while. And so I've just arrived here at my Airbnb and I thought I'd show you around. So here it is, it's this little tiny house, um, and so it's just pretty small space, but it's really, really cute. So I'm just really kind of in love with uh, how modern this place is, and like I said, it's small, but it's very cute, it's very modern, it's very well decorated, and it really has pretty much everything that you need. There's some little steps here go up, up to a small loft with a bed here which is right over top of where the bathroom a little laundry area and a little closet are and then of course the kitchen space a couch over here and a TV heating cooling it's nice and warm in here it's kind of coolish outside but it's very nice in here so I'm really, really loving this place so far, um, and I'm excited to kind of settle in a bit this evening, make some food, get a little bit of relaxation in, and then I have some activities planned for tomorrow um, to just kind of help me to uh, relax and to process some things and to take a little bit of time for self-care because I think that that's something that we don't really do enough of. I know that's something that I've not been good about doing enough of and so I've got some things kind of planned for that to help me clear my mind, get rid of some of the stress that I have, um, which I think this applies to the creators out there that I know watch my channel, um, that it's good for us as creative people to take time to take care of ourselves and uh, not to get too caught up in everything. I know for a lot of us, we're working full-time jobs that may or may not even be in that creative space and then, uh, you know, doing creative things on top of that and we can end up with just so many different things that we want to do that we overwhelm ourselves and so I think it's good to step away from that for a while and just really take time to focus on ourselves and focus on the things that we want in our lives. Alexa, pause the music. All right well I actually was uh, out filming another project today as well, uh, some landscape photography. You probably will see that video before this one actually, uh, but because I was out doing some hiking I'm pretty hungry so I'm going to go ahead and get some dinner cooked up here. I wanted to keep things relatively easy, especially today after hiking, so I just got some canned chili. Uh, normally I would heat this up in the microwave, but uh, one of the things I want to do on this trip is slow life down a little bit and try to enjoy some of the processes and sounds and smells of different things um, and just, you know, really not rush life. Um, so rather than doing the one minute heat it up in the microwave in a bowl, I'm gonna grab a pan here and just heat it up on the stove to enjoy that experience. So I know this video is a lot different than the videos that I normally have on my channel. Usually this is a landscape photography channel, um, and so if you're finding this channel from elsewhere, if, you've, if this is the first video you've seen, uh, that's what this channel normally is, is landscape photography and kind of um, those creative things. And so a travel vlog and talking about mental health is completely different. Um, but mental health is something that affects all of us and I think um, it, it's, you know, it's really related to every walk of life, not just to the creative walk of life, but I will, you know, kind of be thinking about it as a, as a creative person. Um, 
and you know when you're when you're not in a good place mentally it can really stress your creativity um, so lately I have felt like there's a lot of pressure on me to um, create on a certain schedule or things like that and I, thinking about the schedule too much had made creativity that was supposed to be a fun and relaxing thing into uh, a stressful thing because it was like today I have to go out and do this hike um, today I have to edit this video so that it can be done tomorrow things like that and that's not the attitude that I want to bring to creativity and I don't think that that means abandoning the schedule, but uh, I need some time to refresh my attitudes toward things and to come at it again from the right angle. And so even though this is a very different uh, video for my channel, I don't think that it's unrelated to uh, life as a creative person. So I've been lately feeling really kind of burned out. I think a lot of people are right now um, just with everything that's going on. Um, I'm a software developer full-time, I'm working from home since the pandemic started, and so all of my home life and my work life and everything really kind of take place in the same room at the same desk, um, and it just, it gets boring, you know? And uh, so I've been kind of feeling burnt out on everything, both the things that, you know, are like work things and the things that I would enjoy like creative things um, just because it's so much of the same all the time. And so I really kind of needed to get away but I didn't want to travel across the country during the pandemic either. And then also I was kind of planning this trip a little bit last minute because it just kind of got to the point where I, you know, I kind of realized like okay I need to get out a little bit um, and so a lot of things were already full. So decided to, rather than staying here so much and going out and doing things, is to uh, stay here and take some time and just focus on myself. So I've actually planned my own whole little mental health retreat here where I've picked out some classes on Skillshare and I'm actually just planning on staying here pretty much all day tomorrow in this little house um, and taking those classes, relaxing, taking time for myself, taking some time for reflection and meditation and hopefully afterward I'll just really feel kind of um, refreshed and go back to things with a fresh attitude. And everything here seems really um, just kind of perfect for this. Uh, there's a pillow next to me on the couch that says enjoy the little things in life and, and things like that and it's just it's just really nice it's a very calm atmosphere even right now when it's still pretty unfamiliar because I've not been here very long it just feels very relaxed and so I just feel really really comfortable here and um, I think this is gonna be a nice really chill weekend I've definitely been rambling a lot at this point so I'm not sure how much of this you guys will see, how I might cut a lot of it out. Just so it's not ridiculously long. Alright, I'm gonna shut the camera off now and just enjoy a relaxing evening, try to focus on some different things um, around me and get settled in here. And that way I'll be prepared for the day tomorrow. Well, good morning. Uh, this is um, 
Monday morning, this is the second day of my mental health retreat that I have planned for myself. So today is um, sort of the main retreat day. Uh, so I have some classes uh, planned out for the day on Skillshare. Now this is not sponsored by Skillshare. Uh, you could get classes from a variety of other places. That's just a service that I happen to be already subscribed to. Um, but I picked out uh, several different classes in the mental health space. Um, things about you know habit forming and uh, change in your life and self-care just things that I you know kind of caught my eye and seemed applicable to me you could pick out you know different things for yourself depending on the situation that you're in um, and then I've actually scheduled those out throughout the day not really minute by minute but kind of broadly um, by the hour two hours and I've scheduled in plenty of time for, you know, just relaxing, journaling a bit, some meditation, um, you know, time to really reflect on things and process things, um, as well as just time for those necessities like making food and eating and so forth. just saw a squirrel out here in the tree and he was way up in the top of this tree probably at least 50 feet up in the air it's a big tall tree and he was running up the tree and he got up to the very tip top of the tree and the, the you know the real small twigs that are up at the top there and he was running out on these little twigs right to the end of them and he was just completely confident in himself. He had no fear of falling out of this tree. And I kinda, I don't know, I just admired the way that he was just loving life up in the tree, totally confident in himself, not worried about falling or failing at anything. And just enjoying, uh, enjoying life up there, you know? And it got me thinking, what would our lives be like if we weren't worried about failing in things, if we were just loving life and taking opportunities or risks as we felt like it and not worried about falling. All right, well, it's uh, kind of early afternoon now. I just finished up some lunch a bit ago, and then I followed that up with a little bit of meditation out here on the deck, and that was just a really nice, relaxing experience. A meditation like that is something that I enjoy. It helps me to uh, calm a lot of the thoughts that are in my mind because I'm always thinking about something, and so that just really helps me a lot. Um, and I, I like to, at times to practice that meditation in different locations. Um, I think that's a really neat experience. So I'm kind of between classes right now. I'm about to jump into some more in a minute here. Um, but this morning I did some classes uh, starting off focusing on self-care. And I spent some time taking the class about self-care and then coming up with different ways that I could implement some self-care in my life. Not only the big things in life, such as this trip, um, but mainly focusing on the little things in life, the things day to day, how could I better um, help myself and take care of myself. And by doing those self-care things, the, one of the things that was emphasized in this class is that we'll really make ourselves more productive, we'll be happier, 
and so it can feel like you're wasting time to take a couple of minutes to care for yourself throughout a work day but in reality that's actually really a productive thing to do that's beneficial to you and so it'll make you a better worker, it'll make you, make you a better creator, whatever it is that you're doing, to take some time to focus on yourself. After that, I took another class um, that was called How to Not Feel Like a Failure, and the focus of that class was really on the expectations that we have for ourselves now and in the future, and whether those expectations are expectations that we have for ourselves or if they are things that society or other people in our lives have told us that we should have. And I think that was a little bit of a breakthrough for me because one of the things that I've experienced over the past few months is kind of feeling a little bit um, like a failure or you know like maybe I'm wasting my life because I haven't met certain goals that um, either that I had for myself or that I think just that society had for me and kind of realizing that those things that I haven't done yet aren't because they are things that I was passionate about and didn't achieve. I'm feeling like I'm not accomplished enough in my life because of things that I actually don't want to do but I feel like other people are telling me that I should want to do at this stage in life because maybe that's what most people do at this stage in life or that's what traditionally happens. So there's certain expectations that different people will have for you um, depending on what stage in life you're in. If you're not meeting those expectations, it can make you feel like you have failed in life, when in reality, if those aren't things that you really want in your life, you've really succeeded in your life, right? So the class was just a really good reminder to me that I don't need to feel like a failure because of things that other people have expected me to do. Um, if those aren't things that I'm passionate about, then there's no reason in me being bothered at all that I haven't done them. And so that was just uh, kind of a really big relief for me, a little bit of a breakthrough for me in why I've been feeling certain things that I've been feeling. Um, and so it was both of those things this morning, the self-care and the uh, expectations and feelings um, were very helpful to me. So I'm excited to dive into some more classes this afternoon. Um, I've been really enjoying these. Uh, I know taking these types of classes might not be something that everyone would enjoy and obviously you could design um, a trip for your own mental health differently but this is something that I enjoy um, but don't usually have time for at home because there's always things going on and so it's been really good for me to take an entire day and block off and take all these classes that otherwise would take me probably months to actually get around to completing. So I'm gonna jump in to some more classes for the afternoon and then I'll catch up with you guys later. One thing that I've really been noticing today, uh, going through the entire day with a focus on self-care, has been uh, that I really like to pick up my camera and snap a picture of something. Um, I think there's a lot of pressure in our normal life for a photo to, I guess, mean something particular, for it to be interesting, to be worthy of sharing. Um, as well as I think that there's a lot of pressure just to be moving on to the next thing and not stopping and taking the few minutes that it takes to, you know, get the camera out and set it all up and get that shot that you want. And um, so I think we tend not to do that. We tend to pass up a lot of pictures. And I think that there's something very rewarding and relaxing and um, I guess mentally uh, stimulating to me of taking pictures even that don't mean anything particular um, you know the the picture of the daily sunrise or the afternoon snack or whatever that uh, you know just probably isn't worthy of sharing on your Instagram every single morning when you get out of bed you know here's today's sunrise 
but taking the three minutes to take a picture of the sunrise and just the action of doing that I think can be um, very healthy for us even if it just goes in our library never to be looked at again or maybe just gets deleted. So I guess this is my encouragement to you to uh, slow life down a little bit and take pictures of those things that you want to take pictures of um, but maybe you don't feel like you can because either it's not something that would interest a lot of people or because you have something else coming up. Um, stop and take the three minutes or whatever it takes you and get a neat picture. So as the day is drawing to a close now, I'm just preparing myself a bit of uh, gluten-free spaghetti and some prepared sauce, uh, pre-made sauce, and uh, you saved this kind of more involved cooking project for today. Whereas yesterday I was coming back from a day of hiking and wanted something quick and easy. Today I'm coming from a day of uh, self-care and uh, mental health related classes and so I wanted the experience of taking the time to cook something slowly. Now I didn't want it to be something crazy complicated because I'm in an unfamiliar location and I wanted simple packing, simple transportation, and uh, simple cooking, but I wanted also the experience of boiling the water and heating the sauce and all of that. Plus, I think this is going to make a really good meal. I've got some wine and cheese in the fridge to go with it as well. And spaghetti is one of my favorites, so definitely something that I'm going to enjoy. So I think I'm gonna try combination of the spoon and the spatula. Oh yeah, that kind of works. Improvising. <laughs> So as this trip is wrapping up now, I thought that uh, to conclude things, I would just read something that I wrote in my journal earlier. So this trip is uh, starting to draw to a close now. This will be the last night that I spend here. And tomorrow morning, I'll get up and leave here. I have some plans to explore a bit more photography in the morning and then head back home and go back to my normal life. Um, and so in conclusion of the trip, I wrote down uh, some things that I thought that went really well and that I liked about uh, the trip. So things that went well. The schedule. It had enough time that I was able to stay on track as little things came up but not so much that I was bored either. The classes and class selection. These really made the trip. Without them, a day of self-care activities would feel lost because I wouldn't know what to do and it would feel very quiet. I'd have probably ended up watching TV all day. 
But with the classes, there were things to do, some noise in the isolation, and lots of learning, new thoughts, and things to take forward into my life. The location. The house really was perfect for this. I felt at home, it was comfortable and mostly well equipped. The fire pit and hot tub made nice activities to get outside for, and wasn't actually that expensive. Taking the time. I could have done these classes at home, but I wouldn't have done them all at once over the course of a day. And even if I had decided to do that, there would be people talking to me and distractions. Changing location. I've been at home a lot and it's good to get away, see new things, and also appreciate home more. Let the chair and mattress decompress a bit from being sat in all the time and let my eyes see something new. Loose plans and plenty of time the night before to settle in. When I first arrived, it was a new place and I was on edge. Having time to check everything out, journal, and relax as well as take my first class helped me to settle in for the next day. Once I woke up today, I felt at home instead of nervous that something might jump out at me. Last night the windows bothered me, but today I'm sitting outside in the dark. Calm piano music. The speakers in the house were a perfect fixture for this, but it could be done on a phone or whatever too but some calm classical music breaks the silence, relaxes you, and isn't distracting. The refreshments and food. I drank a ton of tea and have no regrets. Some wine and cheese were nice self-care as I was settling in. Chocolate and coffee spiced up the long afternoon and motivated me again. Hiking the day before. It's probably optional, but I think the activity the day before, as well as the one planned for the day after, helped me to not feel like the weekend was wasted in a way that I might have as someone who isn't used to doing much self-care. Journaling, taking notes, and recording things. These helped me to encapsulate my ideas for later. If next week I find myself wondering what I thought about, I can look back in these notes and videos. For me, this was on my iPad and videos for YouTube, but that could look different for anyone. The silence of being alone. It helped me to think freely and to get to know myself better. Now, if you do it too long, it'll be oppressive, but that's where the structure and classes can help. The lack of pressure by having room in the schedule and not stressing over moving to the next thing. This allowed a chore to be fun, time to randomly take photos, and problems to be resolved without any stress. I tried to think of anything I would change and do differently about the weekend, but I really genuinely couldn't think of anything. I feel better, I feel refreshed, and perhaps the best thing, I feel more equipped to avoid burnout in the future, more prepared to implement regular and smaller self-care in my life, more free of others' expectations for me, and more prepared for future adventures. So that's it for this video and for this trip. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it on your way out and to subscribe to my channel for more things uh, about landscape photography and my creative lifestyle. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.